Hello everyone, myself Srivali, working as an assistant professor in the Department of Cyber Security and Data Science in MLR Institute of Technology. Today, we are going to discuss about the overview of presentation includes the main terms PDNF, examples of PDNF. So, let us see one by one. So, first we have to understand main term. Means before going to discuss about PDNF, you have to discuss main term. Means we should know about what is meant by main term. So, let us see the definition here. Let P and Q be two variables. Let us suppose we are having the two variables P and Q. The product of the variables and their negations such that none of the term contains a variable and its negation are called main terms. Means here let us suppose I am considering two variables P, comma, Q. So, the product of the variables means we have already seen in the DNF. So, uh, what is the DNF here? Sum of elementary products. Means elementary product means what? And you should have. So, that is what product of the variables and their negation. None of the term contains a variable and its negation. None of the term contains means here the same variable and its negation should not accepted in this main terms. So, the product of the variable and their negation such that none of the term contains a variable and its negation are called mean terms. So, that is what here we are having here. So, for P and Q, the mean terms are P and Q, P and negation Q, negation P and Q, negation P and negation Q. So, these are all called mean terms here. So, as we don't have here the symbols, actually the symbols are nothing but are missing here. So, this is P and Q. Negation P and Q, P and negation Q and this is called negation P and negation Q. So, that means, so whenever you have the two variables, the product of the variables and their negation, when that negation of the term contains, it should not contain a variable and its negation are called mean terms. So, what is the difference between elementary product and main terms are, there the variable and its negation are accepted. But here the variable and its negation are not accepted. Means if at all if you are taking one product term here that is not P and Q, all the variables should be different here. Not only for two variables, even for the three variables also you should have different variables. A product of the variable and the same variable negation is, ac is not accepted here. So note, this is P and negation Q and Q. So, just now I have said no here, the same variable and its negation is not accepted here. That is P and negation Q and Q is an elementary product. So, we can, this is, we can consider it as an elementary product, but it is not a main term here. Because as per the definition of the main term, a variable and its negation is not accepted here. So, if there are n variables, means if you have n variables in the question, then you should have 2 power n main terms. Means if you have 2 variables, 2 power n is equal to 2 power 2 is equal to 4 main terms are accepted. So, if you have 3 variables, total 8 main terms are accepted. Means you can have 8 or less than 8, but it should not exceed 8. This is called here main terms. So, this main term is similarly to this elementary product, but there a variable and its negation are accepted, but here it is not accepted. That is only a point we have to remember here while solving the PDNF problems. Now, let us see the definition of the principal disjunctive normal form here. A formula which is equivalent to the given formula consisting of sum of mean terms only is called principal disjunctive normal form. So, here a formula which is equivalent to the given formula means, so the same thing here also repeated, they will give one statement formula and you will get one resultant here and that resultant should be in the form of sum of main terms. So, is called principal disjunctive normal form. So, this is a statement formula given question 
and you need to solve by using the laws of logic or standard formulas up till you get into the form of sum of main terms that we can say that it is called pdnf pdnf is also called as sum of main terms form or sum of products canonical form means the other names for the pdnf or sum of main terms or sum of the products canonical form here now let us see few problems on pdnf so first question is p by implies q so here given is p by implies q so by seeing this we will be getting in the mind that here we have to use a standard formula and what is the standard formula is p by implies q is equal to p implies q and q implies p so this is a formula we need to use here so simply you can write it here p implies q and q implies p so but this is not in the form of the pdnf what is in the pdf actually we have to get the sum of mean terms here so here i have the product and here also i don't have any mean terms here so still you need to solve so and we have one more standard formula with p implies q that is negation p or q you need to use this formula here then you will get negation p or q and negation q or p so if you observe here still this is not in the form of the pdn why because here it is in the form of product of uh, max terms here which is nothing but we can consider it as pcnf which we are going to discuss this in the next session here so still i didn't get here pdnf sum of mean terms then what we need to do here so we need to apply the distributive formula here so so which by which way i can consider it as a distributive formula means which variables i need to consider it as here p q or as i have the four here so just blindly don't go for that just check it here which one i have to consider p like that so p or q and uh, let us suppose in the first case i am considering this is p this is q and the total i am considering it as r now if i consider like that p or q and r is equivalent to p and r or q and r so if i see here sum of elementary products here i am getting sum of mean terms i am getting here so just apply this formula here then negation p and negation q or p r q and negation q or p so this is called sum and these are not called mean terms here why because here i have n and r and n or still i need to solve it still i need to apply the distributive formula for this here then i'll get negation p and negation q or negation p and p so next year or q and negation q or q and p so if we observe here this is mean term but this is not a mean term here why because here it should not contain a variable and its negation so and here also q and negation q are not accepted they are not called mean terms but they are called elementary products but as we are going to obtain the pdnf here so this is not accepted so negation p and p you can simply write it as f q and negation q you can simply write it as f f for the total i am considering it as p and this total i am considering it as p f or p is p so on the whole you can write it as answer is negation p and negation q or q and p so this is the required pdnf so sum of mean terms so here we can also if we here we will get one more doubt here this one can we accept it as dnf yes we can accept it as dnf why because in the pdnf we also have dnf here but in the dnf we will not get pdnf why because only the difference between dnf and pdnf is dnf it can accept a variable and its negation also but in the pdf 
period enough it will not accept a variable and its negation so if we observe in this mean term i have p is one variable q is another variable here q is one variable p is another variable means whichever the variables i have in the question all the two variables should occur in the mean term here so then i can stop up to here this is sum of here mean terms which is the required pdnf so like this you need to solve the problems on pdnf here so let us go for the one more question also on the pdnf so what is the question here obtain the pdnf of p or negation q so here p is there negation q is there the only two variables i have in the question in the middle i have or here then what i should do here i should get into the form of sum of mean terms so this middle sum i have but these are not called mean terms but i need to consider this i need to for i need to go say, get the answer in the form of here sum of mean terms then what i should do here is so p or negation q so here q is missing and here p is missing why because to get into the form of sum of mean terms all the variables should be there in the mean terms here but here p is there q is missing here q is there p is missing then i should add this q and p to this to the respective of this then i'll get some of the mean terms here so let us see how to solve it here so this p and here i am writing and true so why because in the laws of logic we have the formula by using the here domination law p and true is equivalent to p so i have written p and true in place of p or q negation q and true so now this true i can write it as by using the negation law the variable whichever it is missing with the using of that variable i have to write in the form of negation law means q or negation q or negation q and here as p is was missing here then i have to write this p variable in the form of the negation law that is p or negation p so here end is there or is there here end is there or is there so but i should get into the form of the sum of mean terms these are not mean terms i have to convert it into the mean terms here so that is by applying the distributive law here p and q or p and negation q just we have applied distributive law here so or negation q and p or negation q and negation p so we have all mean terms so you can write it as p and q or p and negation q or negation q and p or negation q and negation p so here still we can check if any twice the terms are repeating then you can write it as only once here so here if you observe p and q is there do we have any p and q we have to check here as we don't have any p and q still you need to write it as p and q or p and negation q we need to check here so if you observe here p and negation q here we have and if you apply the commutative law here then we will get p and negation q so as we are getting two terms then you can write it as only one term that is p and negation q next or negation q and negation p so here p and q or p and negation q or negation q and negation p so this is called mean term and this is also called mean term this is also called mean term here in between i have the sum so sum of mean terms so this is a required pdn this is a required pdn of here so we can stop up to here
So next, let us go for the another problem. Negation P or Q. So the question is similar to this question only. Second question only. That is P or negation Q. And third question is negation P or Q. So here negation P directly you can write it as and true or Q and true. This negation P and here as Q variable is missing, I am just writing here Q or negation Q or Q and as P variable is missing here P or negation P. So, here just apply the distributive law then you will get negation P and Q or negation P and negation Q or Q and P or Q and negation P. So, if you observe, in between we have the sum and these are called mean terms. How we can say that these are called mean terms here? As per the definition of the mean terms, here a variable and its negation should not be there. So, here in the question we have the two variables P, comma Q. In the main term also we have the two variables. Here also we have the two variables. Here we have the two variables here and here also we have the two variables. And also check here if any term is repeating or not. So, negation P and Q we don't have. Uh, yes, the last one we have negation P and Q. Then out of these two you can write it as only one negation P and Q. Or negation P and negation Q as we don't have this negation P and negation Q in the next terms. You just stop here and write only once here. Or Q and P. So, here sum and these are called mean terms. So, sum of sum of mean terms. So, this is a required PDNF. So, like this, we need to solve the problems on PDNF problems. So, by using this main terms, means we have to remember the basic terminologies of the PDNF and PCNF just like we have for DNF and CNF. For DNF and CNF, we have the elementary product and elementary sums to remember. And for this PDNF and PCNF, you need to remember this main term and also your max term for PCNF. So, like this, we need to solve the problems here. So, what we have discussed today is what is meant by max term and mean terms? So, sorry, what is meant by mean term? What is the definition of the PDNF? How to solve the problems on the PDNF? By this, we will end the session. In the next session, we will go with the PCNF problems. Thank you.